All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here and we are live. Happy Wednesday. Sorry for the delay. Uh, we had some uh, major minor technical difficulties with the uh, connection. For whatever reason, it was not connecting and um, we are connected now, which is good. So let's get things going we're gonna we're gonna try something um, new we're gonna try something uh, that we haven't done before maybe I, I don't know maybe it was just a vision um, I don't know but we're gonna give it a few minutes let some people tune in before I explain exactly what we got cooking tonight you know in the past I have uh, tied some Thanksgiving flies that actually look like turkeys I have no idea where they're at um, they're in a fly box somewhere um, I've looked and I've looked and I just can't find them it's a pretty cool looking turkey uh, there's a video of it uh, in the archives somewhere um, there's pictures of it on my Instagram I've also have done a Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer for uh, Thanksgiving for Christmas time, etc., etc. So now it's showing that. Okay. Yeah. So the last uh, I don't know 20 minutes has just been absolutely crazy here trying to get my camera to work and get everything to. Um, <clears throat> work together so holy smokus so um, like our title uh, of our, our live stream tonight says uh, we are going to try a uh, fly tying improv and I, 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 I know we got delays as far as um, what I say versus what you see and what you type and what pops up in the chat, etc., etc. Um, so it's not going to necessarily be uh, the first person to uh, uh, make a suggestion in the chat. We're going to let a couple of them roll in and um, I'm going to pick one and we're going to go with it. And what, what I'm going to be looking for tonight is uh, it's going to be a freestyle. We're just freestyling tonight. We're having fun. We're not following any pattern at all. Um, we're just going to go with pops in, um, pops out in your head and out of your fingers. So uh, get familiar with the chat tonight. We're going to work on this together and we're going to see what happens. Hit that share button. Invite your friends. Invite your family for this one. Uh, this is going to get a little interesting. Who knows what's going to happen. Um, I might have to jump up a couple of times, do some digging, uh, find something, uh, grab something. Um, you know, my entire area is like my mind right now. It's an absolute chaos. We're not going to do any patterns in particular. Uh, ben and his UFOs. Uh, oh, yeah. Hi, Ben. Hi, Josh. Good evening. I'm trying to pull this up on the chat so that way uh, we won't have to see my delay, etc., etc. So we got six, seven, eight or so people. Let's go ahead. Um, other than Josh and Ben, uh, if you want, feel free to check in. Uh, say hi, hello, how are you? What is today? Today's the 20. 5th 25th of November that means tomorrow will be Thanksgiving uh, my wife and I we already ate our Thanksgiving turkey it was one of those things you just you look at it and gosh it just looks so good so we cooked it up and had it uh, Saturday um, and if you are curious as to what my uh, Thanksgiving kind of theme special fly whatever uh, was uh, look up last Monday's uh, Butterball Bug. That was a fun Butterball Bug. Um, and there we go, got our live stream. So we got a s few of us are all in here. Um, it's up to you guys. The more you uh, participate, the more exciting this will be. Um, I'm looking for suggestions. Um, 
and this is going to be something that we're all going to build together. Obviously, it depends if I have the materials um, or not. Um, and remember, I'm I'm just like like you guys, except I got a little bit more. Some of you, I might have a little bit more stuff. Some of you guys, I might not have a lot of stuff. Um, so let's think about it. What do we want to do to start off? for our uh, base of our fly we need a hook so what type of hook do we want to go with um, I'm thinking either we should go with a wet fly or a dry fly um, so there we go we'll narrow it down uh, let's let's give a couple of suggestions in the chat wet or dry um, you guys know my style. I love to tie streamers and such. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Um, and big old streamers. Let's let's keep it to streamers. Uh, that way we have uh, a big platform to to work on. Um, keep it easy on myself. Uh, or we could do whatever. Wet fly, dry fly. Let's see what we come up with. Let's hear your suggestions, because then we can kind of rabbit hole down that and pick out our. Uh, Pick out our hooks. What fly, dry fly? I'm thinking, thinking some sort of wet fly, some sort of streamer. Let's hear your suggestions in the chat. We're gonna build this fly together, um, and it's not gonna be any fly in particular. All right, we're going wet. Um, so we're gonna stick with wet fly. Um, I like the idea of the wet fly. Let's go. Um, other than Josh, uh, let's hear it. Big or small? Let's hear big or small. Let's do our wet fly. Big or small? And what I will do with that will determine what hook I grab. Keep checking the chat. We got all sorts of all sorts of hooks to choose from. We got some A-Rex Predator hooks, some Gamagatsus. Kind of thinking. One out, two out, three out, four. Out. Those are the those are the big boys. I guess everybody else has gone silent, so um, let's see here. Let's let's find a hook to go on. To switch myself around, get the camera flipped over to the main bench camera, and then we'll flip on the light. There's our camera, and there is our light. All right, let's go big and go purple. All right, let's do that. Let's go big. Let's go purple. I like that. All right. So we're going to do something big. We're going to do something purple. All right. So... This is a big old hook. We're gonna have to possibly zoom that camera out a wee little bit. And thank you all for your suggestions. We're going big, we're going purple. Um, let's see here. Let me find my camera so I can zoom out a little bit. 
it's, it's interesting because the camera doesn't zoom out with the features on the actual camera because it's my mobile device and I think that is good there all right so we're gonna use these A-Rex this is a predator stinger happy Thanksgiving everybody gobble till you wobble tomorrow if you haven't already gobbled already too odd predator is designed for large predators demanding a heavy wire hook so we're going we're going big we're thinking we're thinking we're gonna do some splashing in the water with this um, I am thinking about finding some bucktail I know I got some bucktail in the color of purple so we're gonna get some purple bucktail we're gonna flare that out I'm thinking maybe something kinda like a a, a Buford head or something like that um, Sometimes you have to go with what that Let's see here. All right, so for our f tail of our fly, what do we want to do? Do we want to go with a, a fur or feather? Fur or feather for our tail. I am going to leave it up to you. Uh, let's get some Opinions in the mix. Fur or feather? I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, thread I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a gel sponge just because I have no idea what we're going to be getting into tonight. Uh, this is a 100 denier uh, Vivas gel spun plus. I'm not exactly sure what the plus means, but. We're going to start our thread up front. And the thing about gel spun hair, or gel spun hair, gel spun thread is that it's really slippery. Really slippery. Go ahead and take our thread all the way back. And I'm not going to, this is going to be a slow going process. Um, I'm going to throw a lot of uh, uh, jibber jabber in the mix. Um, but don't be afraid, folks. Please jump in on the chat. This is our, uh, we're going to try our improv night. Looking for suggestions uh, as we go along. So uh, feel free to uh, jump in the chat. Uh, so far, we're going uh, with a big wet fly. It's big, it's going to be big and purple. Um, so we got some uh, purple bucktail we could probably throw in there. Um, some other stuff. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm going to advance my thread right, right about to that bend. That looks fair. Um, I also have... A little bit of cross cut. Maybe we can go a rabbit fur strip. Okay. We're gonna do a fur strip body. Let's find our rabbit fur strip. Um, bu -bu 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 so we're gonna do a bucktail tail. We're gonna find uh, a rabbit fur um, strip. I rearranged ah, rearranged my bench quite a bit, and things are. Dang nabbit, not where they used to be. Alright, this will have to do. Do yuck do.
Boy, purple has got to be one of the hardest, hardest colors to find here in the, in the bench. <clears throat> All right, so let's add some purple bucktail. Yeah, this will be pretty. And I'm just gonna go for this nice full chunk because we're going for a big fly here. Give that a little bit of a mix, a little bit of a something back there. All right. All right, and just like we do with all flies that require some deer hair, let's go ahead and clear that out. And if we want, we can find our little brush. Get a little brush out. And let's run this through our big hair stacker. Ding, I should be done. All right, so let's see, that would be about a hook's length. And let's go about another half. A hook and a half is always a fair, fair length for a uh, tail on a most flies. A nice amount of flare back there, I like that. Purple, purple tail. I suppose well, we should probably add some crystal flash in there. If I don't have any purple flash, I, ooh, I do have some purple flash. How about this? How about um? got an idea. I saw a fly that I tied a while back called the Watermelon Minnow. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to do something somewhat similar to that. Let's find ourselves some eyes. Do we want to do some eyes? We're going to tie this. You guys are going to see how I end up tying this. So we're going to need, uh, we're going to add some we're not going to need any more flash on this side. We're going to need an inner body, which we're going to do our uh, rabbit. It's going to be kind of a pink. And I just need to get some dumbbell eyes up front. So glass bead, wet dumbbell eyes. And I suppose we should go with these ones just because they're pretty. I'm going to go with the uh, hot chartreuse yellow. I believe these are... What size is this? <clears throat> these are a medium size for the dumbbell. Uh, 1 30th of an ounce. So I'm going to backtrack. I'm going to go all the way up front. Tie on this dumbbell eye. Right in front. Right in front. Not going to leave much room for not much else. But what is important is that it is nice and secured. Let's give that a try. Dumbbell eyes. Who here is familiar with the watermelon minnow? I've tied it once a long, long time ago. I'm going to add just a little dab of Zappa Gap. 
Can I trip out? Nope. I always feel like I'm uh, looking down the barrel of a loaded gun uh, when I... I'm trying to see if my zappa gap is open. Give it a little squeeze. Man. Is that the gap? Come on now. Just jam that bodkin in there. Come on. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, like I said, with the uh, gel spun hair. Oh man, that's a lot of Zappa Gap. Oh well, we'll fill that gap. All right. Also have a little bit of accelerant. All right, so we got our dumbbells eyes on there, um, and the, what we're gonna do is this is gonna be our body, right? So we're gonna need. This is going to go on the top and the bottom, and this is what we're going to do is we're going to flare that up and out. Um, we got our uh, rabbit fur strips. We're going to tie these in, and this is these are just. Uh, it's going to be interesting. All right, we actually got to start up front. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we're going to try our hand at cutting ourselves a little quick zonker strip. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's going to get us started at least. Yeah. Maybe we'll just dub this all on. Or we ditch the pink and we go with a white. And just go with a zonker strip that already is a nice zonker strip. And I know I'm not going to have to fight it. Or a chartreuse. getting closer. I just got to dig in the right bag. I think that's going to be a swell, swell, swell. <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up tying tying this in up front. We're going to run it down the back and then we're going to tie in our flash body up and around. It's going to be beautiful. So let's take this big bright. We're going to tie this in front to back. That should work. <clears throat> we'll get our rabbit fur strip in here. And what we always like to do, uh, no matter when we're doing our time, we're going to take just a little bit of that fuzz. A little bit of the fur. We're going to strip that back. And we're going to tie this in upside down. Nice and tight. I guess it doesn't matter which way we spin as long as we're consistent. 
all the flash is going to come right after this. This is going to be awesome. Kind of a spin off of the watermelon mint with a, the watermelon minnow. Which was just a random pattern I came up with. I didn't come up with it, but inspired off of something. That's why I don't think I could ever take credit for any any creation. I mean, it's just, it's so hard to really even conceptualize, you know, it's like, well, did I make that up? Did I create that? Or is that something I, I saw when I was staying at the Holiday Inn Express last night? I don't know. So, I know I didn't talk too much while I did that, or I did, I did a lot of talking while I did that, but I just talked over how I did that. I laid my glue down, and I just, it's one of those things that you just, mentally, you just got to send it sometimes. All right. And there goes the thread. Good thing we got that glued down. Dang it, Bobby. Gel spun. Such a slippery sucker. Alright. So hopefully that didn't affect us too much. Alright, so we got this going on. That seems like a lot of fun. Uh oh. Don't drop the zappa gap. Probably take our brush. We're going to swoop this all back. This is going to be one of those flies that you're just going to have to add the water to to really see it. All right. So we said big and purple. Here's some purple purple. Uh, what's interesting, what I love about the Fly Tires Dungeon uh, Northern Lights Flash is the crinkle, crinkliness of it. Um, but what it is, is it's a two-tone deal. It's It's got the... The fiber is a one color inside of it, and then the then it has a dye over top of it. So a lot of times you get a two tone two tone look. There we go. This is almost kind of a Minnesota Vikings themed color. We're gonna take a big chunk of this. We're going to eyeball half, but we're not going to tie that on, which looks like it takes us right to the, the flare on our tail. Let's match that up on the back end. That'll be fine. Alright, nice and tight wraps. Alright, I'll take this whole lot. Go over the eyes. We're going to split. Split the difference around the eye of the hook. Take that into two chunks, pull them back together at the rear of the fly, keep that nice and tight. I'm going to pick that out with the bodkin here. There we go. Alright, so now we got a nice little mess going on. Let's find our bodkin. The purple people eater. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said earlier, you know, uh, everybody, everybody's doing 
all these Thanksgiving themed flies and junk like that. I did mine on Monday. Um, feel free to tune into that live stream or that uh, broadcast. Uh, it's completed. All right. Guess I want to just kind of pull everything, pick everything out before I go too far. Ah. We got a back up, back up. What we're going to do is we're going to wet this all down. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I got a little thing of water here. Um, I really try to avoid licking my fingers and uh, touching my material. And then going back and licking my fingers again and touching my material. And I don't know. I mean, I know where this rabbit's been for the last couple of years since I, I've had it. Um, but beyond that, who knows what kind of chemicals and dyes and whatever process. I'm going to go ahead and just slide this all the way out. We're going to get back to that. Bench side hack, get yourself a one of these. A little hair grabber. That'll be fine. Alright. So I'm just gonna wet my fingers and we're gonna see if we can't give this just a little bit of a little bit of a taming. This will definitely help us in our our efforts here in a minute. Let's try this again. All right, let's set this on top. Couple of tight wraps. Apparently that was not tight enough. That's the thing with this gel spun. We just need to add a little dab of... going nowhere that's where we just need to split that hook take our clump into two bits I think that's going to work. All right. We're going to trim that off here in a minute. Let's go ahead and just whip finish this off by hand way back here. This 
so we don't mess with any of that. We'll do a one, two, three. And because we know this gel spawn is a little slippery, we're going to do a one, two, three again. And if you want to learn how to hand whip finish, just study what the actual whip finish tool is doing for a few minutes. You got plenty of thread. Thread's, thread's cheap. Go bananas on some thread, some inexpensive thread. Practice, practice, practice. And then when you the time comes and you need to hand whip finish something, bam, it's right there, ready to go at your disposal. So there we got that going on. And before I brush this all back, I think I might want to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of bone dry. We'll add it right into the mix back here. Give that a little zap to seal that off. And we're going to add some um, resin up front around that dumbbell, dumbbell eye. And it looks a little little off with the flared out like that, but I think once we get some water in there, we're going to be good. In fact, you know what we could do? Just because we can. I got some uh, 210 chartreuse. Let's see what do we think about this. Do we think about... What do we think about that? A little hot collar right there. Gotta keep that all together. And then we'll do a little... Let's do that. Just a nice little collar. And that's going to be it. We'll whip finish this. And then we'll goop some resin around all that up front. I think that sounds pretty good. I got some of these. The bottom batch is just a tick longer. Alrighty, but I don't want to trim into that bucktail. I learned this at the barber shop. You want to taper feather your ends. You can always do that. I think that looks alright. We'll call that the, the purple people leader. Alright, let's get ourselves some resin up front. This is a thick hard. This is a medium. That's the flex. That's the thin. Let's go with the medium. We're going to just goop a little bit of this uh, around the dumbbell eye and see what happens. This will just kind of give us just another little bit of insurance policy up front. Keep that from fraying and really just kind of fill in the gap, I guess. But I don't want to go too far into the, uh, I really don't want to get into the fur. That would be silly. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. 
just needed to smear just a little, 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 little bit into the right behind just to get that chartreuse thread. That's what we're aiming for. By Jove, I like that. I'll give that a little set it and forget it moment. Now you get yourself a big old toothy critter chomping on that, and it's going to self-destruct. But I think that's going to look pretty good for the time being. All right. So that's this fly. What do we want to do for our next one? So on our first fly of the evening, we get uh, uh, Josh said a wet fly. Uh, what is that? Charlene uh, requested something uh, big and purple, and uh, we got that rabbit strip in there. All right, the purple people eater. I guess that's what we're going to call this one. I'm going to take a sip of coffee here. And I suppose even if this does get mucked up and just kind of self-destruct, at a certain point, I mean, it's all gonna, it's all gonna do wonderful things. Do wonderful, wonderful things, I say. All right, what do we, th how we, th I'll just get that one out of there. What are we thinking for our next fly? We got, what flies? We got dry flies. We've got streamers, we've got poppers. Something with a, uh, a feather tail, a hair wing, boy I like that. All right let's do, let's do our next one. What do we think? All right, let's let's look for a size of hook. Let's go for a size of hook. Um, let's go. Let's go something maybe a little bit smaller. I'm thinking because this was a this was a two odd. I mean that's a that's a big bad boy. I think that I think this has a it might have a little leg room. I mean I think if we wanted to beef it up we could have uh, ran a wire over top of all that. I don't know, what do you think? We can um, either A we could either A improve upon and try one of these again. Um, maybe adding a wire or, or you know, with some uh, different colors, of course, possibly. Ooh, something with a red eye. Could probably go back to the original watermelon minnow. But I wanted to wanted this to be kind of dictated by you guys. Um, so I'm going to leave it to you from the top, officially asking the question. We're going to go wet fly or dry. Wet or dry, top or bottom, wet fly, dry fly, what do you say? What say you, ladies and gentlemen?
And it's going to be one of those things. I'm just kind of listening into the crowd. Seeing who's going to shout out. I was actually watching some uh, Whose Line Is It Anyways. Hilarious. Hilarious. You know, the improv actor gets a lot of flack, but I think, uh, I think they're all right. I think it's all right. So we're going to give it a few seconds. Uh, I know it takes uh, at least, you know, 30 seconds for what I, from whatever I say to become uh, reality in, in front of the YouTube world. And... The streams come in different strengths and different speeds. Uh, so, I get it. I get that, uh, you know, it's never, never, uh, you know, first come, first serve. It wouldn't quite be fair. I keep moving my uh, keep moving the fly and the vice just so I I can see it moving on the thing, making sure we got a solid connection. All right, well, we're still awfully quiet out there. I guess we're gonna. I don't want to try the same same thing. I wonder if I have just a red. Do I have a blood red rabbit strip? I think I do. Is it long enough? Potentially. Let's try that. We're going to try a variation of what we just tied. Presuming Find some flash. We can't, I've never tied it with that flash, so that's that's a somewhat new part of the puzzle. Let's go digging. We gotta go digging for my flash. Ouch, that was a hook. We're digging for the right flash, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be epic when we get it. Get it. You know, it is quite possible that I did use it all up. the idea of having the uh, we're going to substitute the flash with uh, this Congo here and we're going to do a uh, this on the outside with the uh, red on the inside we'll do red eyes no, maybe we'll stick with the uh, chartreuse eyes and then we'll have to go with uh, or bucktail. So now that we're gonna we kinda know what we're doing here. 
Um, although we could just do a, another scene too, but I like this I like this concept that we come up with for this first one. Um, so I'm just gonna roll with that. I spent all day him hawing going back and forth, back and forth. What do I want to tie? What do I want to tie? I just literally, I could not come up with anything. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's make it a freestyle. Let's, let's make it an improv. Let's make it, uh, so there's some precipit part, precipitation, participation. Dumbbell eyes, dumbbell eyes. Cause this time we'll start with the dumbbell eyes first. We'll add a wire. And then I think that'll be it. All right, and we're gonna just go with our chartreuse thread because that it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. You know, this is kind of kind of loosely based off of a, a mylar mylar minnow, I suppose. I suppose. Let's get our eye medium, one thirtieth of an ounce. All right, we'll add a little dab of insurance on there, a little dab of Zappa Gap. Just enough to wet the thread, not that big bulb like we did the last time. All right, so let's go all the way to the back. And I'm thinking this time we could just uh, slightly uh, switch. Cause last time we did just the purple tail, which matched the purple outside. I'm thinking we're gonna do a red, uh, rabbit. I think maybe we have a little red bucktail hanging out the back. Flaring out. Checking it out. I think so. Clear that bucktail off and then we're going to run this in our hair stacker. Tips down. We're not going to Helicopter it in. There we go. Hooks length and a half. Really work it all the way around the, the shank of the hook. In fact, I'm going to give that a wrap underneath or two. I like that. You know what we could do? That's going to add a little bit, a little bit of buoyancy. If we tie that in, that's going to... Yeah, who knows? We're going to tie that all in. Why not? Might give the body just this weird buoyancy underneath all this. Um, we'll see. There's only going to be one way to find that out. To find out, and that's just going to be to get it wet. All 
All right. So we're going to tie in our red up front again. And let's tie this in hide dull side up. I don't know. However you want to call that. Nice and tight. All right, let's go ahead and uh, add a little dab of glue ya right on down the shank of the hook. And of course, it's, I don't know how that thing can dry so quick on the tube, but when you actually want the sucker to dry, Zappa gap takes forever. All right, thin little layer. You don't need to go bananas on that. Oh, I forgot to get my thread out of here. I'll just. Oh, and we also got to get our wire in. Oh no. Um, wire, wire, wire. We just need to be quick with our wire. I know I got a silver wire somewhere. Here we go. It's a little too thin. Here we go, quick brassy, brassy wire in there. And it's got a little bit of the glue in there, so that should help hold all that. All right, let's get that nice and clear. just gonna work this back. This looks like it was a scrap of something at one point. And it looks like I can't pull too tight on it because I might just rip that in half. Heck yeah, this by itself is going to catch a fish. Alright. Nice and tight. Alright, let's see if we can't trim this off without... Cutting our thread. Yay, we did it. Alright, let's go ahead and wet our fingers. We're gonna get that nice and wet just so we can work work around that a little easier. Again when I'm Oh where'd my voice go? I heard myself, oh, I accidentally bumped my uh, volume button. That'll explain it. Like I was saying, I got a little jar of water. Keep a little bowl, a little cup, a little dish uh, that you're not going to drink out of. And keep it handy if you ever need to you know, wet anything down. Because obviously I did not just slurp that, my fingers, into my my mouth. Alright. Let's get our little watermelon minnow action. I'm trying to decide. I think I think they're both about the same. Kinda like this lemony yellow. Alright, choose your own adventure. We've got 
mystery color. I think this is a uh, some sort of bait fish blend. Do we go with the lemon or the olive? Lemons or olives? What do you say? What say you, crowd? Lemons or olives? We're going to give this a few seconds. Let y'all help me decide. Help me, help me. Lemons or olives? I don't know. Tell you what, I am anxious to get this down into the river someday. Uh, give this a splash. Not too heavy, um, you know, with just the standard dumbbell eyes. Um, you know, with the with the red, I mean, it's kind of hard to go wrong with red. All right, lemony yellow it is. All right, we're going to grab just a small little batch of this. And I'm going to try to get a good blend of the of the mix. Cuz I do like that hint of olive in there. I just want to make sure we grab I think that should be enough wire I want you to stay back there I guess that's better better than a banana on the boat eh all right, so ran into this last time. We want to taper our ends just a little bit. All right. Keep it clear of the sides. I'll give it the old one, two. The shank of the hook, or the, not the shank, but the uh, around the bend. Bring that all back together up top. Before we go too tight, two bananas with it. Let's double check our work. Looking pretty good up there. All right, we'll whip finish while we're back here. Nice big whip finish. Nice big hand whip finish. Put my finger on there to keep it in place. One, two, three. I'm going to do that one more time. One, two, three. All right. We're going to have to do some trimming on the back again, but that'll be all right. All right, 
let's run this copper wire through here. Just kind of slide it through the rabbit. We're going to go nice and even. Boy, oh boy. What did we come up with? Alright, then we can just take a couple of wraps right behind the uh, eye. Or the dumbbell eyes, and that's going to be it. Because what we can do is just add a little goop and... Did I, did I cut the wrong one? I ja ja ja. Oy. Exactly what I did. Well, and that looked so good. This is what we're going to do. Just because we li I really like that wire in there. We're going to salvage something. Alright. We don't need you there. We'll just get rid of that and... Let's get our rabbit rewet again. Where'd my wire go? Boy, this is a case of I set it down and then I lost it. Namaste, take a breath. It'll show up. In fact, we're going to switch it up. We're going to go with the small hot orange. that down. This is just like we're tying a tying thread. Although I wish I went the other direction at this point. It's always easier. <laughs> something 
I guarantee you, you won't find this on any other YouTube channel out there. Nobody out there is trying to fly quite like this tonight. Not today. Not yesterday. Probably not even tomorrow. Well, more than likely not tomorrow. I don't know of any Black Friday sales or anything coming up. I'm so disconnected when it comes to any of that right now. There. I think that's going to be it. Got a nice close trim, and then we'll add our resin, and we'll trim even up the back end of that tail, and I think that's going to be a fantastic thing. So the back end, let's just do a little bit of bone dry. Set that and forget that. And then up front, we're going to throw some medium in there. Some medium viscosity resin. I want to get this hair realigned towards the rear. This little guy from earlier, pink. All right, and we get to play with our resin. And I'll go underneath. And make sure we get into that wire. Oh, this is going to be a nice one. This is going to be another one of those nice ones. Well, I don't think I would have tied this without your help, folks. That is for sure. This was a uh, community project, a group effort. I think this sucker's going to catch some fish. At least with that flipped out there like that. Uh, should swim pretty good. Portions look fairly decent. And I think we did a really good job. Not getting much of that trapped. Nice and clean for the most part. Only got a couple of spots. But you got to be careful because if you start picking where the uh, this Congo hair is up top, you get the top part coming undone. And that, if you see if I ever start pulling at that, that'd be a no go. All right, so I need to kind of get this tapered out about to that length. Get the 
bucktail out of the way. Easier said than done. Alright, that's about the length I'm going for, so we're gonna take a big chomp and then just kind of taper that out. Ooh la la, I think that was the magic bit right there. Boy, oh boy. I like that. I think that's going to have some good action in the water. Can't go wrong with some zonker in there. Congo hair is going to give us some good, good lift. A little bit thicker of a body, so there we go. There's our our twinsies. All right, so where are we at? We got about a half hour or so. Uh, beep beep. I wish that didn't beep beep. But beep beep. Here we go. Sorry about that buzz buzz. Hopefully it won't won't get too loud. I can't hear anything. I, I wear these headphones, but um, I don't hear anything. Uh, headphones are literally just for the microphone aspect of it, really, for the most part. All right. Let's see, what do we want to do next? Questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, hopes, dreams, or we could just take a break from time and we can jibber jabber for a few. Turn around, check in with the camera, and I can turn off so you guys oofta 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 so I got myself a bona fide diagnosis uh, from the doctor the other day tennis elbow not cool not cool folks um, I'm kind of glad it happened uh, the end of fall, beginning of winter, um, gives me time to uh, work on re-strengthening um, because, I mean, just holding my coffee mug here, it's he it feels, it doesn't feel heavy in the arm, it feels really heavy in the wrist, it feels really heavy in the hand, it feels just weak, and that's, that's scary because that's my fishing hand, that's my fishing arm, I can... I don't want to catch the fish of a lifetime, a personal best, the biggest lunker I've ever lunked, just to lose it. Man, that would suck. Um, but anyways, um, let's come up with a plan for next week. Next week we are into December already. That will be December, what, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the 2nd. December 2nd. Hmm. Something about infamy, right? December 2nd, that's Pearl Harbor Day. Right? I don't remember. Um, let's think of what we want to tie for next week. I'm thinking uh, about keeping it. It's a, it's a keep it. I got to keep it simple, stupid. That's what I want to do. That's what I need to do is just... Uh, um, stick with the basics and um, have fun with it. That's that's one of the things we have to do. Um, one of the things that I spoke about this on my last live stream. I'll talk about it here. Just touch on it just ever so quickly. Um, knowledge versus imagination. Um, knowledge is finite. Imagination um, is limitless. 
that is not me saying that. That is um, Einstein uh, paraphrased more or less. Um, and that's what I wanted to illustrate tonight. And that's what I always try to illustrate and emphasize is, you know, we can spend our time trying to replicate what's in the book, which is really good. We should always practice the standards, practice the classics, practice our techniques, um, but never be afraid to uh, step outside the box, venture down the road, make mistakes. Um, but it's that constant evolution. I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to constantly tie something different. I'm too busy trying to tie something different um, that I don't, I, I've lost sight and I've lost uh, grasp of reality. I could tie a fly that in my mind's eye, I, I might think I just made it up. Um, but you go into the archives somewhere, you'll find that you know there's something pretty darn similar somewhere out there. And I probably have seen it and it hits my subconscious. So you know, and then that's why I, I'm not out here trying to, well, I created this fly, I created that fly. So, you know, like what we tied tonight is uh, loosely based off of uh, a Mylar minnow, I believe. Um, you tie it something somewhat similar to that. Um, but, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. Um... I say we crank out one more fly and then we'll uh, call it a night and we'll call it the uh, the end of November we will be on to our Thanksgiving so let's get some input we've got um, let's go with something slightly different slightly different um, tail let's go fur or feather let me know in the comments let me know in the chat fur or feather for a tail and then we'll go from there let's spin our uh, spin ourselves around like the hokey pokey what if the hokey pokey was really all it was all about nothing more nothing less Then what do you do? And the way these are tied, they should ride hook side up, theoretically. It, it's close. All right. So we got Josh in the house recommending the feather feather tail Congo here back all right we'll do that let's get our hooks I'm gonna go a little bit smaller on this last one I just two out is just a little a little beefy right now, so we're gonna go with the size two. We're gonna go just a little bit smaller. This is a, uh, a trout predator streamer hook designed for large predator trout flies or whatever we come up with. stick with a chartreuse because if it ain't chartreuse it ain't no use all right so 
Let's get our thread to the rear. We'll tie in a tail of feather. Let's go with da -da 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 -da. Let's go with some marabou. Go a little chunk of marabou. This is some pretty bounced around stuff. Go a little bit more. I got those extra little bits of some marabou. Might as well. If we're gonna send it, might as well send it. All right. Might as well wrap that in. Don't crowd the eye, A.A. Ron. Alright. It's a groovy little, kind of little back end. Alright. Um, let's see here. What do we want to do for our body? Do we want a buggy? I think we want to go something buggy for our body. I think a buggy body will do. Um, I'm looking to adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go. Alright. Let's go with a buggy body. And for that, we're going to need some sort of... Um, buggy. I had a little piece of dubbing that I came across. Where did I put that? I think we might do a dubbing loop. Let's do... Where did my dubbing go? I just had it. Story of my life, right? Well, before we do our dub, we want to tie in a rib. For the ribbing for this one, let's go with... We'll just go with our silver wire. This is just a plain old silver wire. Nothing fancy, nothing too schmancy. All right. Since I can't find the dubbing that I wanted, I'll have to settle with the dubbing that I have handy. Because I want something buggy. Let's go with this. Diving into the Fly Tires Dungeon Stash. This is this is some of the Private Stash NK Dub Chartreuse Mix, and you can see it coming right out of there. It's it's buggy as buggy. So we're gonna make a dubbing loop. All right for that, we'll go. I don't know, right about there. I'll park our thread. Not quite. Remember, folks, what do we not want to do? We do not want to crowd that eye. Nope. 
Not today. Alright, so let's let's see what this dubbing's all about. This has got all sorts of stuff happening in there. It's got some little rubber legs in there. We got some flash. Just grab a small little patch of that. I think that'll contrast well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start plucking it side to side and then stacking it on top of itself. Because what I'm doing is I'm orienting the fibers this way. At least in theory. See how it just kind of takes all the fibers and then we can just stack them back on top of each other. Alright, spread that all out. And we're going to put this in our, as our dubbing loop. Right across the fingertips, just about like that. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice, nice, nice. Adventurous, even. Alright, squeeze that in the loop. Close that, and we'll spread that out. Here we go. Buckle up. Got a little bit of it twisted and stuck. There we go. Now we're spinning free. Well, that deserves just a little bit of Velcro. We're going to pick this out. this forward with some touching wraps. Maybe not quite touching, just space it just ever so slightly. So it's coming out kind of like a bugger, but we're not going to stop quite there. We're going to do, I think, Got an idea, but we're going to leave it up to you guys. How's about that? I think that turned out pretty swell. All right, let's pick this out again. We're gonna run this wire through there somehow. You just got to throw a half hitch in there. Throw a half hitch in there, and that's just like hitting the pause button while you're playing your video games. So I watched uh, the movie uh, not too long ago. Not, not the movie, uh, the TV series um, on Netflix, The Queen's Gambit. And just like when I was a kid walking out of the Ninja Turtles movie, I felt like I was a chess expert. Although I know I'm far from an expert. But I am a fan of the game. So, um, if any of you fine folks are into playing chess online and happen to have a 
chess.com or whatever, um, let me know. I, I would love to try to play some chess against some some of my peoples. Um, I'm not good at all. I'm far from anything significant. Um, I know. I watch that 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 queen's gambit. And I was, it's just like, oh my gosh, you know. It's just like I know the pieces have or the the squares have names and this and that. I I just I've never super committed much of that to, to much of thought because um, I was never like into it into it but I, I you know I know how the pieces move and junk like that but it's a lot of fun I will say oh we got a, a suggestion right there Sam in the house it's been quiet tonight you just joining us or what we are improv tonight we kind of came up with some things and some things were made and now we got a, a oh, there's that brass wire it is exactly where I put my uh, these things what do you call these cutters we got the suggestion for some hackle time well I reckon we should be able to accommodate that I'm thinking of a little soft hackle up front. Ouch, that's a sharp hook. In fact, we haven't done any hackle time yet tonight. So I reckon it's probably probably time for some hackle time let's get a little uh, just because I think it would be a wonderful contrast to add a little black up front I think we're gonna go with this soft this right here. That's going to be it. So let's strip off the fuzz on the bottom. That just gives us a nice, clear, clean handle. My boss has you in the kitchen. Well, that's all right. Don't burn the beans on the grill. Tonight was a meatloaf night. Pineapple. Pineapple meatloaf. Mmm. Use some pineapple juice to keep it keep it moist. Soak the bread. All right, nice and tight. We'll finish this off. Yeah, so if you're interested in the uh, Thanksgiving kind of themed whatever fly video, uh, you guys want to backtrack to uh, Monday, and that's when I did my Thanksgiving themed fly too much pressure tonight um it's just i don't know and i'm glad i decided on uh, um what we went with tonight because it would have been a little stressful uh trying to knock this out with the late start and everything going snafu so here we go it's hackle time let's fold those back and take a few turns. Oh, look out. Do not adjust your screen. That's just my big old fat hand. Maybe one more. I reckon I should just send it. Oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course. All right, we'll try that again. That was our opportunity to silently swear in our very own minds. We'll try that again. So 
Nothing wrong with using two hands. things quit while you're ahead, right? Let's give that a trim. Meatloaf sounds good. Oh, some Cornish hens. Man, that's good. Had some pheasant the other day. I should add that to my grocery list. A pheasant pot pie. Man, that was fantastic. Listen up, my St. Cloud peoples. Uh, I have no idea who their supplier was, but our good friends at Cashwise and their frozen food, I don't remember where it was exactly. Cashwise East, I can describe. Hit me up, I'll tell you where it is exactly there. But it, it was a pheasant pot pie. Man, it was good. It was really good. And I think I really like the look of this fly. Let's go ahead and equip finish, and we're going to call that a thing. Alright, we'll add a little dab of insurance policy up front. some bone dry that's there and the flashlights there always good to get things prepped before you send it stay out of that eye aye, aye. listen I can somewhat see it so let's see if we can't grab a little bit of stem soak that up that's what I'm talking about boy yeah 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 I think that worked out pretty darn well. Got something buggy. Got something. I think that checks all the boxes. All right, what do you think? Questions, comments, concerns. What do we do? What do you say? I think uh, I think that's gonna be it for tonight as far as uh, what we're gonna tie ouch 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 that my friend was in my sock and that my friend is a Ray Charles Ray Charles even Ray Charles himself could find his way into my sock ouch that was a sharp little guy I was wondering where that one disappeared off to <laughs> holy smokes oh, let's go ahead and switch this over all right that's gonna be it for tonight Josh's favorite was the purple people eater. Yeah, that's that was a lot of fun. Um, give that a try someday. Uh, super easy. Throw the the weighted eyes right up front to the uh, eye of the hook, and just wrap that material back and around. Um, and you can just do that secondary collar uh, right behind uh, the dumbbell eyes to give it a little bit of security. We could add that. Uh, wire on top um, I really like that uh, 
that uh, the concept of adding the the uh, rabbit fur that was a that was a new one for me. So um, that's it for tonight. Um, I had a lot of fun. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments. If you have a suggestion for next week, um, I'm always open for suggestions, themes, this, that's the others. Um, I really don't, I just don't like tying flies necessarily that there's like a million other uh, videos or whatever out there of, um, I don't know. But we're going to leave it at that. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is for my Project Healing Waters peoples out there. We do this every week. Uh, rain or shine. Uh, the only thing that's going to stop me is uh, technical difficulties. But uh, we don't have to worry about that as much as we want to. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay healthy, everybody. Please stay safe over the holiday weekend. Um, happy tying. Yeah, sure, you betcha. Tight lines. Peace.